กลับมาพบกับสตีเฟนบิกส์พี่ชายแท้ๆของผมนะครับอธิบดีของกรมการศึกษาระหว่างประเทศ <coughs> รัฐควีนส์แลนด์ครับกระทรวงศึกษาธิการโอเค let's talk about educational yes. opportunities uh, who comes uh, besides Queenslanders who comes to Queensland to study from outside Australia we have an extremely diverse range of students from a wide range of countries we we attract a number of students from from Asia, of course, and that includes China, Korea, Japan, Vietnam, um, etc. Um, but we are also a really attractive destination for students from Europe. Okay. We attract a lot of students from Germany, from Italy, from Norway, from Finland, for example. Mm. Um, so we have a very diverse source of students. We're at a school on the north coast where there was a group of Mexican mm -hmm. students studying for six months. Yes, yes, that's right. We, Latin America is another one of our mm. really strong destination sources. Mexico, Chile, Brazil, we have a range of students here. And that's part of the beauty of coming and studying in Queensland, that you have this incredible diverse uh, range of students. So what, what age can you be to study here? Andrew, as we sit here now, I have in our programs about five or six students who are studying prep, so they are aged five years old. Really? From five years five old? Five years old. So you can do primary school, you can do secondary school here yes. as well, high school? Yes, you can, do, you can do prep right the way through to the end of year of, of secondary school, year 12, mm -hmm. before moving into vocational education or, of course, higher education. So you've got it all. You've got it from grade one to your doctorate Even here. Even before grade one, prep. You can do, okay, preschool. Preschool. You can come in here as a five-year-old on your own? Uh, no, you can't. Uh, we have, at uh, EQI, we have very strict uh, safe student safety rules. We are very, very serious about the safety of our students. Uh, so from prep through to year six, uh, mum or dad have to be with the student. Okay. But from year seven, aged around about 11, uh, we offer homestay. Okay, so Morton couldn't buy the cap because I'm a teacher. Uh, how do you choose your homestays? The homestays are chosen by the schools and what the schools do is they have a very strict standards that homes must meet in mm -hmm. terms of provision of um, proper room for the student, um, proper safety, proper security, close to transport. Um, we ensure that everything is kept on track through a range of homestay coordinators that we have in each of our schools. Each and every one of our school, schools has a homestay coordinator to okay. make sure that homestays meet the standard needed to ensure our students are safe. Okay, now Queensland schools here, you're talking about Queensland government schools. I am, yes. Uh, what's their education level like? How, what's the quality like? The quality of Queensland government schools is, is very strong. In fact, uh, nationally, there was a review that was um, announced. In fact, it's an annual review of education standards um, that was announced this week. And that's at a number of levels, year, year mm -hmm. three, five, seven, and nine. And our schools always achieve very highly, and mm -hmm. in fact, um, at one of the year levels, year three, um, we top the nation. So you're number in one? The, in, in one aspect, in, in the, um, in the uh, literacy. There's, there's a diversity in the schools here, there right? There is, there is. We saw aerospace yes. at one school, at yes. one government school here. Yes, yes. We have, a, we have a government school, in fact, in Queensland, uh, here in Brisbane, called Aviation High, for example. Mm. Um, a focus on aerospace. We have schools that, that also offer IB and they have focus on IB and provide the opportunity for international students to come and study an IB course 
here in Queensland. And a lot of them are, are now in using the STEM uh, yes. method of teaching as well. Yes, yes. The STEM, the STEM method is, is, um, is, is very important and it's an extremely high priority of the Queensland Government and the Education Department to ensure that students are achieving in those very, very important areas for the future. Great. We're going to take a break and I'm going to come back and ask about Thai students in particular, about what you can do to help them if they come and study here. <laughs> Kun Thai,